This is a stock Explorey chassis, and today we're going to give you a few maintenance tips for keeping these, this stroller in good working order. Uh, what you're going to want to do is to spray into all of the different mechanisms. The mechanisms at the top are mainly plastic, so a silicon spray would work best, um, but you can also use some sort of a WD-40 or a spray grease. You can do it here. You can tilt the stroller on the side and try to get in from the side element where the handle connects. Uh, this is quite a uh, complex mechanism inside with a lot of plastic parts. Um, if you're having squeaking issues with this, you can also take apart this top end and then you can uh, do some more in-depth greasing inside. There are two screws here if you want to start taking apart the mechanism, but be aware of how it all is put back together. Uh, because again, it's a complicated mechanism. You can, should also spray in here, and you want, in this case, I would recommend more of a WD-40 type, because you want something that's gonna run down the full length of the shaft inside, and uh, get that mechanism nice and lubricated, and then you can collapse and extend the handle in order to uh, spread the grease. Um, in relation to the seat, Unless you're having specific trouble, say with this mechanism, you don't need to be spraying any sort of WD-40 type stuff as you will wind up oiling up um, mechanisms that should not be oiled that way. So for example, the height regulation mechanism, if you're having trouble moving this one, it's tight. That's one area where I would recommend only using a silicone spray in here because you need the um, flat adapter that holds it into these grooves to be able to function tightly against it. When you get down to the bottom and you want to oil up the collapsing mechanism down here, you can open it up first and then you can spray in here. In this case, it's uh, mostly metal. So again, WD-40 spray grease would work best. And uh, if you spray in here, you should hit all of these small moving elements. Also in relation to this back end, a good idea generally, to check that this screw is tight. In order to do that, you're going to need two screwdrivers with the uh, CRV4 head. It's a little hexagonal head, and you just want to hit both sides of the axle and give it a good tightening. Keep that one tight. Um, when this loosens, one head, the one side of the axle is like a cap, and that will often fall off, and then you'll lose it in the middle. Uh, moving on to the wheels and the brake system, you can remove the back wheel, turn the stroller on its side, and spray inside the brake system. And there's a channel that runs here with a wire from one end to the other. So if you allow gravity to do its work, and spray a fair amount. You'll also manage to oil up inside this, and I would recommend doing this on both sides. Uh, spray in, leave it for a minute or two, and then flip it over. In relation to the wheel itself, what's important is the ball bearing, uh, and in this case, silicon spray will not do anything for you. You're going to want to use WD-40. So you can spray here on the top of the ball bearing and rotate the wheel and allow the oil to go in and uh, oil up around all the small balls inside the ball bearing itself. Uh, there's also a lock mechanism in the center which is this clip, and uh, you can also oil that up if you're having trouble with the wheels locking in place. Moving on to the front wheels, you have a few different ball bearings here. So you have the ones inside here at the top. That one actually is not necessarily a ball bearing, but is more of an axle that slides into this shaft. But it's also good to keep oiled. And if you open this up, you could use a thicker grease here. Uh, you also have these ball bearings here. So you wanna spray in there, give it some good rotation, and then flip it the other side and spray in there. And give it again a rotation and then do the other wheel. I uh, just want to say one more thing on the back wheels, if you want to go all out, this shaft is a good place to use a thicker grease, like food industry grease or a car, multi-purpose car grease, as it will hold a bit longer. You just spray a little on the, or place a little bit on the axle, 
and then rotate it so that it spreads itself around. So those are the general areas that uh, I would pay attention to if you um, want to keep your stroller in good working order. Uh, again, spray down all of the various mechanisms and so on with the appropriate uh, greases and lubrication and uh, tighten screws where you see them. And we hope this video has been useful. If it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.